Hello everyone, this is Mara and welcome back to the Zoocraft server. Today guys we are going to start uh, making our garden. I have done some prep work behind the scenes. But first I want to show you something that I did. I have expanded my base a little bit. I think I did show you this already. I actually covered some of the um, orber bushes were not growing like they should be, so I covered them with blanks and they are a lot better now. I still need to need to fix the lighting on the floor. I think I'm going to use some glowstone dust and some carpenter uh, blocks for that. But anyway, let's go down here. Nothing much has changed on these levels, but I did start a strip mine already. And I actually found a mine shaft right under my base, which is just my luck. So I did clear out this this mine shaft already. Where is that slime? Can you guys hear that? Interesting. But anyway, there's still this um this ravine that we need to explore a little later, but I did uh, explore this mine shaft already, and I actually found a zombie spawner pretty close to my base. Oh, and this pen. Yeah, so we have a our own zombie spawner now, even though we don't really need it because we do have the the um, zombie grinder set up on the server already. But anyway, anyway, that's something that I did find, and I still, <laughs> I still don't know my way around my base. But anyway, oh yeah, now I remember what I was supposed to take. Yeah, so we are going to start setting up our garden today, and we need a lot of bone meal, I think. And yeah, it's pro it's uh, possible that before we are done with this project I may need to go and get some um, some bones from the skelly spawner as well but anyway let's go out here yeah so I have done a little bit work off camera I actually fenced off all of this area that I want to turn into my garden so as you can see let's check the map Okay, there we go. Yeah, so this is the general area where I want to set up my my garden. And I also set up these uh, logs here to kind of indicate where I want to put all the um, all the fruit and nut trees. And there's going to be a lot of them. So these are definitely <laughs> these are definitely not going to be all of them. But they are, you know, I, I just wanted to place some down to get a general idea about the distances, how how big of an area uh, they would need and all that. And I also made a little little pond here already. It's just a little <laughs> square thing here. So we definitely need to work in this area. But I was thinking that I would really like to get a couple of ducks uh, to this pond. So we will need to go and get some some water plants to put here, some some lily pads and whatnot, some some reeds and all of that good stuff at some point and I will definitely need to make it look a lot more natural because it's just it's just a little square thing. But anyway, I'm very excited about this this project guys. So let's go here. I do have some saplings here already. So let's see. There we go. So I have pecan tree, star fruit, cinnamon, dragon fruit, ma mango, coconut, walnut, cashew, papaya, lemon, chestnut, nutmeg, avocado, cherry, and apple already. And we are going to start with this. So let's put this away. I don't think we will need all the weapons. <laughs> My garden should be a relatively safe place, at least for now. <laughs> so there we go. And let's turn this into bone meal. And there we go. 
Okay, so let's start. I feel like I want to have my apple apple tree pretty close to the to the entrance. So maybe here. I think this would be a nice place. So there we go. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of the a lot of um apple trees here. And are you kidding me? Just two apples. No, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. Okay, we need a, we need <laughs> need another one. Oh goodness. Yeah, this is probably probably going to happen so many times. Okay, let's make another one. Okay, guys. So, I had planted all the saplings that I had earlier, and I had a little bit of trouble with some of them. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Some of these saplings are really stubborn, like the papaya and the coconut sapling, and that's because they use the um, a different sort of uh, model for the tree. It's not this typical jungle tree here, so they are a little bit stubborn. So we'll see what what we can do if we can actually get them grow here. But anyway, let's go here. I was <laughs> I was having a little bit trouble with some of these trees. You know what, guys? Usually I really love the tree capitator, but when you are trying to plant several of these uh, <laughs> fruit and nut trees close to each other, and they are not turning out like you wanted to want uh, them to be, it can be a little bit tricky. So I've been <laughs> I've decided to uh, try to fix this manually which which will be very interesting so yeah that's something that I already need to do <laughs> try to make them look a little bit better but yeah they look like a mess but anyway let's go here so we have the apple tree here already those are cherries and this is a cashew tree and that's an avocado and this is walnuts that's nutmeg and this is chestnut. So there's a lot of the uh, nut trees here already. And there's the uh, uh, mango tree and the cinnamon is right here. I wasn't really that happy with this tree because it's so so short. So uh, so I wanted to wanted to trim the leaves a little bit, <laughs> but it's still looking a little bit sad. So I think we need to replant this one. But anyway. So, there's some uh, peca pecans and some star fruits, and that's a lemon tree. So, these are the trees that I currently have, and I decided that I really want to go out uh, exploring and find the remaining trees uh, all by myself. I don't really want anyone to donate and be any of the rare fruit and uh, fruits and whatnot so that we can have the remaining trees here so we definitely need to go and do some exploring and uh, the dragon fruit <laughs> sapling here is a little bit stubborn as well I think we need to okay I'm lagging there we go I think I need to try to put it somewhere else let's try here not sure if it's going to grow here either. Probably not. It's really weird. Even though there's plenty of space for those uh, trees to grow, they are really stubborn. Oh well. But anyway, so the starfruit tree, the coconut tree, and the papaya tree are still here as saplings. We'll see what we can do with those. But anyway, I will. I will do some some tree fixing <laughs> off camera and try to make those trees look a little bit nicer but anyway guys I really like how this garden is starting to look already and these trees are definitely adding a lot a lot to it I really love uh, collecting all the different kinds of different kinds of uh, crops and nuts and uh, fruit from the mod I really love it so that's definitely exciting and let's actually check out what other what other crops we have here there's a lot of things that we can plant yeah there's so much 
so much things, so many things, and we definitely need to get started with the garden very soon because we are running out of food. <laughs> so, hmm. Yeah. Oh, actually, guys, I uh, off camera I went to the garden biome that's uh, close by Alex's place. Alex's place, and I got some special dirt. Let's see where it is. There we go. I got these long, long grass blocks from the garden biome, and these are very, very special um, blocks because you can actually plant all kinds of seeds to these these blocks without you using the hoe and without having to use any sort of uh, water sources next to the crops. So that's very exciting. That's very useful. Actually, let's put some <laughs> some lights here. Just a little bit earlier, I, I was actually almost killed because of a spider. <laughs> and I didn't have my armor on and I didn't, didn't have my weapons on uh, with me either. So that was kind of funny. But anyway, yeah, so I was thinking that we could try to use these block blocks instead, instead of, you know, um, making a very tra traditional garden. We could try to use this. So let's see. Let's start from here. And it's so laggy. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. The server is unfortunately always, always quite lucky for me because I don't have a very good computer. But there we go. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, and let's go and get some seeds. I really want to show you guys how this works. Okay, uh, what do we have? A lot of strawberries, okay? Let's take those. And obviously we need to turn them into seeds first. There we go. So this is so cool, isn't it? We don't have to use any sort of uh, water blocks, water sources. We don't have to use the hoe to uh, be able to plant this. So that's very cool. I think we are going to plant some more of these berries here. Because we need to start somewhere. And I feel like the berries would be a nice nice and easy start. So let's put some blueberries here next to the strawberries. I already expanded this area a little bit and I need to do more work off camera. And let's see, let's put some raspberries here. And why not? There too. And this needs to be that kind of block. There we go. Oh yeah, we are getting some fresh food from our own garden. This is awesome. Okay, and let's put some uh, blackberries here. There we go. And let's see, cranberries. I think we need to plant them in water if I don't, if I'm not completely mistaken. Yeah, there we go. So I only have two cranberries right now. So we need to wait for these guys to grow and start planting more of this. And I actually just started thinking that maybe we will, instead of adding some ducks to this pond, we could actually turn this into the, um, what's the proper word? Anyway, we could turn this into the pond where we can grow all the, all these crops. For example, cranberries and rice, and what whatever uh, water crops we can find. And instead of having the ducks in the garden, because they are, they are possibly, well, most likely going to tremble my crops here, we could actually go, at some point, we could go 
go uh, exploring and f find those ducks and bring them here because this is definitely something that I w want to work on later. I want to make a uh, duck here and all kinds of all kinds of nice uh, n nice little things and I feel like the ducks would definitely benefit from, from this area and we could also uh, go to the twilight forest and get some of those uh, bigger lily pads to this area as well. We do have some lily pads here already so that's nice. Yeah, these are the regular ones but we can definitely add add more to this area later. So yeah, I do have uh, quite a bit quite a lot of uh, plants in mind for my area here so that's going to be very exciting but first we are definitely going to work in the garden because like I said we need to get going with the with the crops and get the um, a reliable source of food going in this area and all that so so I need to uh, continue working with the with the garden off camera and hopefully in the next episode I can show you guys the progress that I've made in this area too. Okay guys, before we end this episode I wanted to give a very special shout out to my friend Tordemer from Timeshot server. So if you guys don't know, Tord is making a very cool dinosaur series on Minecraft. He's building a dinosaur world and I highly recommend checking out his channel his channel and his dinosaur series because I know that so many of you guys really enjoy dinosaurs and since I'm not personally going to be making any dinosaur exhibits or whatnot because dinos are really not my thing at all so definitely go and check out Tor Tordemus channel and say hi to him from me there is a link in the video description box below so Go to the description, check out the playlist for Tordemus Dinosaur series and I know that you guys are really going to enjoy it. Tord is a, a very cool, very cool guy, he's a awesome builder and I'm really enjoying his series myself too even though, like I said, I'm, I'm not really a dinosaur kind of a dinosaur uh, girl myself <laughs> but I know that you guys are really going to enjoy it so go check him out. But we are going to end this episode here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little gardening episode. We are going to continue working in the garden in the next episode probably as well and hopefully I've made a little bit more progress off camera with the with the different uh, crops and whatnot. But until then I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!